depending on the nature of the embryo of the seed of a plant, it can be classified as monocotyledonous or dicotyledonous. One cotyledon implies a monocot plant such as lilies. Let's take a look at the anatomy of a monocot root. In this topic, we will learn the detailed anatomy of a monocot root. Maize is a monocot plant showing characteristics like isobilateral leaves with parallel venation and roots that are fibrous. In a transverse section of the root, we can see an outer epidermis that consists of compactly arranged parenchyma cells. A few of the epidermal cells protrude out to form root hair. On the inner side of the epidermis is the cortex. The cortex consists of many thin-walled, loosely arranged parenchyma cells. Since they are loosely arranged, there is intercellular space between them. The endodermis forms the innermost layer of the cortex. These cells are more rectangular in shape and the side walls thickened with suberin. These thickenings are called Casparian strips. The endodermis is followed by the pericycle layer. It consists of thin-walled parenchyma cells. Pericycle encloses the central pith in which the vascular bundles are embedded. Inside the vascular bundle, the xylem and the phloem are arranged alternately on different radii. This condition is called a radial arrangement. Since the xylem bundles are present in large numbers, the condition is called polyarch. The outer small vessels of xylem arranged towards the periphery are called protoxylem and the inner larger xylem vessels arranged towards the pith are called the metaxylem. This condition of xylem is called the exarch. The tissue found between the xylem and the phloem is called the conjunctive tissue. The central core is known as the pith. The monocot root has an outer epidermis, the middle cortex layer and the inner endodermis. Next to the endodermis is the pericycle enclosing the vascular bundle comprising xylem and phloem and the central core called pith.